This is Jackie Helvey, and I am here with Rich Georgie. Hey, Rich. Hi, how are you, Jackie? Doing well, and I ran in you, into you today. You own the Recyclery. I was one of the founding members of the Recyclery. There was five of us. Oh, and really? Yes, yes, and a number of us are still in town, and a couple of us have left, but um, this is our 21st year, and... Wow. Yeah, I was out. I was actually out to breakfast this morning with one of the other founders when you oh, found cool. me. So, uh, so tell people who don't know who who are like, what's a recycling? Tell them what it is. Okay. Well, the recycling is uh, it's a bicycle cooperative, which means we uh, it's a community resource. So no one gets paid. It's all volunteer run. There's no cost to any of the services we have. We have all the tools. We have all the parts. And we will just help you fix your bike uh, for free. And we get a lot of donated bikes from the community. The community response has always been great. And we decided very early in the beginning um, that we wouldn't charge any membership or we wouldn't charge any parts because in order for it to be a truly egalitarian um, endeavor and a true community endeavor, we didn't want to make value judgments on people and turn them away um, if they didn't have $5 for a membership or $3 for a and cable. And some people don't have money. Right. You know? Well, we, we actually asked our quote out that question. We said, if someone came with no brakes and we wanted to charge $2 for brake pads and they really didn't have $2, would we really send them away with no brakes? Right. I mean, is that really the way we want to run this space? And we didn't want to do that. So we decided it was going to be on us to find out the funding and find out how the parts, where the parts would come from. Uh, we decided it was going to be all volunteer. And we thought it would be maybe if we ran out of money in six months, then we would do six months worth of good. And now it's 21 years later. That's amazing. And I keep waiting to run out of money so I can just <laughs> stop doing it. And we don't, we just don't run out of money. Where do so, you get your money? Where do you get your funding? The community has been awesome. Right now, around happening around us is one of our bike sales. We have a couple annual bike sales, um, and that helps raise a lot of funds. We fix up bikes and sell them for extremely low cost to community members. Uh, we barter a lot because you know people don't always have a lot of money. Right. That comes. We apply for a couple grants here and there, but mainly it comes from community um, community support. Wow. And just that's, recently, that's great. We started a Patreon pay, a Patreon page where people can donate monthly as little as three dollars. And when they do that, they get a T-shirt, they get a pair of recycle re socks, or they get a water bottle, and it helps because. Um, no one, no one person should have to carry the load. Right. right? Three dollars at a time. You get a number of people to do that, and you got your costs covered. Is this a full-time job for you, or do you do something this else? This is my full-time job. I work in the tech field, so this has always been just vol. It's I consider it volunteer, but we've all put in full-time hours. Right. There's a number of people who run it now. I've kind of taken a step back. Um, and the younger folks who run it, uh, they all put in lots of hours to make it a success. And it's never been about one person. It's always been about this effort of all these people together. Right. So, and tell folks your location. Where, where are you? We're located at the back of 108 North Graham Street in Chapel Hill, which is behind Rumors uh, Thrift Store and behind the Baxter Bar Arcade mm -hmm. near Beer Study. We're in the back alley. We're Anything goes in the back alley, Sam. <laughs> Everything and anything goes, you know. So, so. Um, what are your hours here? Do you have specific hours? Right now, um, we used to have specific hours on the weekends, but due to the pandemic, we've been doing an appointment-only system, so people oh, have been good. emailing us. And Ricky, who runs the shop now, or, or Ciel, who runs the women's night, have been doing... Um, appointment based only because we're trying to keep everybody safe by limiting the number of people in the shop so right when we go to expanded hours again it'll be on our website which is just recyclery.org okay well thank you so much it's You're great welcome. talking to you You're welcome. and good luck thank you we're here at the recyclery. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. Where they're having a bike sale. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of people. In need of bikes. We're going to step inside the shop here. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> They're fixing the bikes. What a great thing. 
for people who can't afford a bike or want a bike fixed. That's what they do here.